Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn swept command. So let's start by the definition. Here comes the swept command in the surface tab. As per the definition, it is going to create a body by sweeping a section along one or more guides using various options to control the shape along the guide. Basically, this is something like through curve mesh, but this is more flexible than through curve mesh. I'll let you know why. And uh, if you want to know something about the through curve mesh, you can watch my video on through curve mesh and then continue this video because through curve mesh is going to help you to understand the concept of this swept command. So let's start with swept command now. Just click on this swept command. And here I have already made some curves to generate the surface. So basically I'm just going to reset this command so that I can get the default options of the command. Here is the reset button for the command. Okay, you have to just click on this command if you have disturbed any of the option from the command. So now let's hear the very first thing is regarding the sections. Here we have to select the curves which are this. So we have to just click on these curves. So I'm just going to select this one only just for the demonstration purpose. And here you can see maximum I can select only three guides. So this is the limitation regarding the guides that we can select only up to three guides maximum in the guides of swept command. So here I'm just going to select this guide. Now you can see this has generated the surface like this. How the surface has been created using the swept command. And this was the curve which termed as section and this is the second curve which is termed as guide. So using the section and the guide I have generated this surface. Now I'm just going to delete this because I want you to show something more so that you can understand the concept of swept command deeply. Now here I'm just going to select this one. Now here comes the choice. Either you can press MB3 or click on add new section and select this. Similarly, I can select the add new section and select this curve. Now, here's the trick regarding selection of curve. Every time you are going to select the section, please keep in mind that all the arrows must be at the same point with the same direction. Like here, you can see they are all in the same direction. Along with that, they lie on the left hand side of the ZX plane. So you have to make sure regarding this selection. And I'm just going to add new set here and going to select this. And here the maximum guides are going to be three, but I'm going to select only two. So I'm going to select this one first. And you can see this is not currently following this guide. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on add new guide and click on here. Now you can see that this has perfectly covered the curve. Now just click on OK. So this is the basic regarding the swept command. I'm just going to delete this once again and uh, delete this. And let's go again to the swept command because there are several options which are need to be discussed regarding this. So I'm just going to select this curve and then this curve. Then for guide, I'm just going to select this, but with a single curve and stop at intersection. This is the option regarding the stop at intersection. And whenever you are going to select only a portion of the section up to some intersection, so you are going to use this option. Otherwise, it is going to select the entire curve. So make sure to use this stop at intersection whenever you need the portion of the curve wherever it is getting intersected by the another curves. So I'm just going to activate this and going to select this one. This is the guide one and press MB3 and this is going to be the guide two. So this is how we can generate the surface. Now here comes the spine. Spines mean this is going to be the mid curve. That how this section is going to be kept traveled. So you can make your own spine while practicing with the swept command. You just have to make a line here in the center and then use the spine curve. It is something related to the spinal cord of the human. So similarly, we have the same concept in the Siemens NX of spine. Okay, so now let's go to the next option, which is regarding the interpolation. We will understand the interpolation in the solid 
because I have a demonstration in this video regarding the solid also. So please do not worry about this option as we are going to discuss this option. And then we have the parametric arc length and by points. So it is possible for the by points. So I'm just going to show you how this is going to work. You can increase or decrease the arc lengths for the points like this. So this is going to change the profile of the surface and just click on OK. Now you can see here comes the sharpness here. As if I just have the highlight here. So you can see clearly that uh, there comes the deep dig on the surface. So it is all up to you whether you want to give some sharpness at some specific points. As you can see that sometimes we need the, these kinds of sharp cups on the surface. So it is all up to you whether you want it or not. But the method is regarding the alignment and in alignment you can use the by points. So this is how we can use this option. And this is regarding the preserve shape. We will discuss the preserve shape in the solid. So I'm just going to cancel this and let's generate the surface once again. So that we can store it into the memory of and I'm just going to select this one. This is going to be the first. This is going to be second. This is going to be third. And this is going to be the fourth. And you can see clearly that I am performing all the selections from one side. I'm not going into the another side to perform the selection for the another curve. So you have to do the same practice as I am doing. So here I'm just going to select the guide curve and I'm going to delete that. Why so? Because I have activated the option of stop at intersection which is not required now because I need this full curve to be get selected. So this is the first guide and this is going to be the second guide and click on OK. I'm just going to color this. So this is going to be found. Now we have a surface like here and this is how we can make the surface using the swept command. So this is about the surface. Now let's understand about the solid. So I'm just going to hide the entire feature, which is this one, and going to hide the swept command. Now press home to have all into the isometric view. Then we have the solid demonstration here. Press home, and it is going to fit all the entities into the graphics window. So I'm just going to swept command, and here I'll choose the rectangle along with this circle this rectangle and this circle and this time I'm going to select this line as the guide curve. Now here comes the linear. Now I want your focus to be gather all around here on this short linear edge. Now you can see this is basically the transition that this transition is taking place in the linear way. But if I just click on cubic so it will be like this. So this is the difference regarding the interpolation of linear and the cubic. So it is all up to you whether you want linear or cubic. As if you are working in the complex surfaces, so sometimes you are going to choose the cubic because you want the merging or the transitions to be get smoother. Okay. So this is the option regarding the preserve shape. If I just go to the linear and just go to click on OK. Uh, so currently this is going to be inactive and click on OK now. And I'm just going to have the edge plant. Now rotate this because I can clearly see that this is going to be get selected. However, I'm just going to select this one which is not possible. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to the step command once again and activate the preserve shape option. Now click on OK. After that just go to the edge plant. And here I am just going to select this edge. So you can see the difference clearly that why the preserve shape has been used. If I just press Ctrl plus Z for undo and then again undo. Now you can see this is not sharp because it is not highlighting the edge. And if I just redo it is highlighting the edge. How this edge has been highlighted using the preserve shape option. Because that option is going to preserve the shape that this edge is going to be the sharp edge and on this edge I can apply the edge blend. So this is the basic concept regarding the preserve shape and we have already covered the concept about the interpolation. Now let's check what we have next. In the alignment we have the by points once again. 
so i'm just going to have the buy points but before that just going to cancel this and just go to the this command which have been used earlier and i'm just going to use the orientation instead of orientation i'm just going to use the alignment and uh, this is going to be the buy points so in the case of buy points i'm just going to rotate this by some distance so this is all up to you that if the aesthetics of the body is looking nice so you can adjust the points this is all up to you i can even add the points by just clicking on it and i can even delete the points just have the right click and delete so this is all up to you regarding the alignment and just click on ok now the last option is regarding the orientation just go to the swap command once again and here i'm just going to select this one this is going to be the first curve and this is going to be the second curve for the sections and for the guide i'm just going to select this one not the circular one this linear one let's check the orientation now i just had the double click here to check for the orientation because it was earlier as self-intersecting but if i just do the double click on this so it will not going to intersect so it is all up to you you have to remain calm while using such commands in the surface and uh, if i just talk about the orientation then we have the certain types of orientations here here like fixed face normal vector direction in the case of vector direction you are not going to select the y-axis because this is going to be perpendicular about the section so if i just select this one you can see the reference coordinate system is undefined so make sure to use the parallel not the vector which is going to be perpendicular about these sections so it is all up to you that which axis you want to select but that vector must not be perpendicular to the sections and then we have the face normal for that we have just go to the surface so i'll just let you know about that okay so these are the options which you can also try and see whether the shape is taking place or not but uh, in this case like we have arc lens so this is going to apply the arc lens this is the pipe points so i can just have the rotation so i can just uh, have the rotation regarding the pipe points and even i can delete them like this delete this and i can add like this i have just added by having the click here so this is how the strap is going to work now let's go to the face once again because we have an option regarding the orientation so i'm just going to have the click on this and then this as guide so here we have the face normal and this is going to be normal so this surface is going to be get normal about this basically the orientation of this surface which has been generated so this is how we can use the swept command and the internal portion of the swept command has been described in this video deeply. So that is all regarding this video. If you have learned something new from this video, please do hit a strong like, share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.